I I I just I, I'm already messing up. I didn't have the vo- <laughs> I had the volume turned all the way down. Um, but how's it going, y'all? Um, uh, welcome to my meet and greet. Um, this is a uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is super surreal. But um, uh, yes, for those that are not familiar with uh, with me, um, hello, I'm Josh. Josh Hodison. I am. Uh, I am uh, 29. I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I am a voice actor, singer, and audio producer. And I am also uh, one of the PR and social media managers over here at Sonic Revolution, as well as a recurring panelist. Um, for those of you familiar with, um, for those of you familiar, um, I am also yes, the voice of. Uh, what is going on with my camera? I am the voice of uh, Knuckles, the Echidna, Boom Knuckles, and Zabok for our in-character panels. I coincidentally was uh, <laughs> right before I came up here, actually popped up in as Knuckles for um, the Tea Time with Starline uh, panel, uh, which big, which uh, big ups to um, big ups to Ultimate. His Starline is friggin' incredible. Um, but uh, funny, I say that I immediately see I immediately saw that in on my field of vision. But anyways, um, but yes, I'm I'm Knuckles, Boom Knuckles and Zavok for the character panel for the um, character panels. I'm also a PR and social media manager and one of the um, uh, pan- recurring panelists as far as voiceover work. Um, I know um, while I'm technically establishing myself to a degree, I know that there is. Um, quite a there's that de- there's definitely i would say people probably know me for one of two things the most in the in this community i well, with me mentioning also a sonic revolution i'm also the for the sonic r show i am also the stream coordinator and for and i am also the chief audio engineer for all our online panels um which um which i'm like the audio that comes that comes out of this um, meet and greet right here. I'm going. That's going to be audio that I'll be mixing myself afterwards. Um, and uh, yes, I felt like showing my face here because I mean, my for those I mean, for those of y'all that saw the meet and greet that the um, the panel that I did with uh, P. Capella and Ryan Drummond in um, the in person event, as well as, you know, other appearances I've made and y'all already pretty much know what I look like. I. <laughs> I got it. I got to trim my beard down. But anyways, uh, this other Abby outside of that, I would say other things that y'all would probably know me for is um, um, probably the most popular non Revo uh, gig I've had in terms of voiceover has been um, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Sonic and Knuckles show. I am the voice of Knuckles for for this for that fan project. I am also um, uh, Commander Buzz in Sonic Animate in Sonic Animated for um, Sonic Paradox. Um, I am also there's quite a couple other roles I can think of at the top. I can think of at the top of my head. Um, I am also I'm also reprising Knuck- Knuckles as for um, Sonic Polaris, which uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Polaris, which coincidentally I see one of the creators in the audience there, my boy Noah. Um, and there's um let me think some other roles that I know that I've uh that I've done. Um I've gone I've done quite a couple of things for Noah over there. I'm also um for those of you that are familiar with um my with my good friend um YouTuber Darkbox or Speedy Blue, I have um boy I have done um I have I'm I've I've have I've done a lot of frequent collaborations with him. I'm actually um I've I've voiced um, Knuckles as well as numerous other characters for his stuff. Um, and uh, I've also and, you know, quite a couple other roles as well. Um, and some I'm able to announce, some I'm able not to, some I'm not able to announce. But uh, I know um, there's and there's, you know, of course, there's quite a few more to come, I'm sure. Um, um and yeah, I think I can probably go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm already seeing like 14 people here. That's good. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, <laughs> um, 
And yet for all, and for those that for those that are on for those that are unaware, I'm also one of the server managers for this server. Ironically enough, so um, I'm totally power trip. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, I think um, I'm gonna let's see. We got uh, we got one hand ro- rose, <laughs> one hand up, rather. Um, I know English. I I I, 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 I swear. Uh, and, um, uh, but I would, but I think uh, I'm going to start. Uh, yep. I'm already seeing hands, some hands up and I'm getting, uh, there we go. Uh, uh, sorry about that. I got a DM. Um, but yeah, um, you know, this is my little meet and greet. Um, y'all can pretty much ask whatever, you, whatever you want. I'm an open book. Just, you know, nothing crossing the line, nothing, not family friendly or anything like that. Um, but you know, I'm generally pretty, I feel like I'm, you know, if I don't, if I don't, if I don't feel like I can answer a question, I'm, if I don't feel like I'm an- going to can't answer a question, I'm just going to deflect, <laughs> uh, but, or, or some, or something like, or, you know, or roast you. No, nah, I'm, I'm not, nah, I'm kidding. Uh, or, or am I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just messing around, but anyways, uh, I see a few hand hands up um yes of course if anybody wants to have their question asked uh make sure to click on the little the little hand raise button if uh you're unable to um met if you're unable to um talk on the actual um voice stage um yes then uh just go to chaos stage room text and just ping me over there with your text question and i will do my best to uh get to it um so yeah i'm just going to get right down to it i see um i saw my my buddy noah had their hand rose hands hand risen uh other ways to word word that i went to college i swear (laughs) uh but yes um my buddy noah come on up (laughs) hey josh How's it going, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. So, for my question, if there's any roles that you haven't really gotten to do much, or 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 like new roles in, in general, new roles in general, like outside from Sonic, what would you want to what 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 would you want to do? I mean, what what would you want to go for? Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, it could, uh, like, what do you mean? Um, like, like, is is there any like other Sonic characters you would want to do, like any other Sonic character voices you have done but haven't done much in as or or out or even outside like from other communities? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I mean, I'll be the, I mean, I'll be the first to, I'll be the first to admit that as as grateful as I am for um the fact that I've you know, gone as popular as I've gotten in the community, which I've been very fortunate in that regard. I'm like, at the end of the day, it's very much that that was very much something I was doing for fun. Like I am very much, you know, first and foremost, trying to be taken seriously in the industry as a voice actor. Um, so like, I, I mean, whatever, whatever gigs willing to give me money, <laughs> I guess, uh, like, I, like, I, like, uh, because I've considered every, every new, every, um, you know, new, op- new role, a challenge, uh, a challenge, if you will. Um, and you know, I'm, you know, just, uh, I, which I know I plan on, which I don't even have a demo reel yet, which I know I plan on remedying at some point, but, uh, mm-hmm. um, and, uh, so, I mean, you, you said, um, you said, was there any, like roles or whatever, just making yeah, sure. I I do, yeah. I, I mean, I do know you voice, like I know you voice a star Fox and, and a Mega Man dub before. So that's, that is, that's what I mean. Like kind of like that. Very, very true. Very true. I voiced, um, I, I believe it was cool. I believe I had voiced, um, cool Cat. I believe that was what they had. It li- I believe that was, that was what they had it. What listed on my, my buddy hypers, um, product. I, um, I know, um, a Star Fox project. Um, I don't recall necessarily if I've done a Mega Man project. I know I, I've, I mean, I that'd be super dope if I was able to, I mean, if I, if I'm sorry, I thought it was the Maji V. 
um, the Ma- the Majin V. Oh, my boy Andrew. Um, yeah. I uh, I don't recall if I've done anything with his Mega Man stuff. I would love to. Oh, for sure. okay. Like, for, for sure. Oh yeah. wait, no, it was Teenage Ninja Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles. That Teenage, was the one. Sorry, my bad. I thought yeah, it was Teenage, Mega Man. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Could, and where? Uh, yeah, because he had a because he had a comic because he had a comic done for that where um where uh, I voiced Ground Chuck in that one. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I've also, and I've also, um, I also voiced Knuckles in a Seasons of Chaos dub, which was a lot of, which was a lot of fun. And, uh, I, and, uh, you know, ironically, which ironically enough, he's also for those unaware, my, um, co-star in the Sonic and in the Sonic and Knuckles show, he voices Sonic, um, which is, it's always a pleasure to work with that, to work with that man. I've, very, very nice man, very talented man. And, uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad to see him out here winning as well. Um, and, uh, and, but yeah, um, uh, and I know, of course, I know like voice, I, I know I really, I really enjoy voicing storm. <laughs> I don't, I, I, which, uh, yeah, which I, I know, which, which for, for those that were actually also voiced, um, storm in his, uh, video storm in his storm, the comedian, um, video, as well as, um, there was a couple. You, I'm talking about you. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, and uh, as well as you know, a couple, couple other things. I mentioned Polaris earlier because you're involved with that. Um, yep. And of course, um, I know, I know it, it's. Uh, in, I know I, my buddy Brandon or Dark Cloud VA for those on a for those unaware. I used I uh, I've been voicing Starline for his IDW comic dub since 2019. I would say, yeah, yeah. You go. You put it in the um, in the yep yeah, words. The stage room text. I will go ahead. Stage room, Tim. I got you. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. And um, I mean, I know I'd like to. I know um, sh- I mean, as far as I mean, if we're if we're referring to like those type, if we're talking to like um about like Sonic characters specifically, like I know definitely I'd I'd like I definitely like be able to voice like Shadow more. Like be able to voice Eggman more, like being able to voice. Um, um, I like I like being I, I I like I really like I really like voicing Zavok, which that's I mean I do I've technically had opportunities to voice them before. I mean like I mean other as far as ones I haven't got to voice as often. Um, maybe uh, Mephilus one though. Mephilus to a Mephilus to a Mephilus to a yeah that I mean that's definitely one I enjoy voice I enjoy voicing as well. Um. And uh, let me think here. Uh, Bean, that would be that would be one I'd like to uh, yeah I'd like to, uh, to, me- to mess around with. Uh, for which, for those that um, don't know, my um, Bean is uh, using a lot more of my higher register because obviously my normal voice is over here, and um, and uh, Bean is in voice, um, you know, and uh, you know. <laughs> and all that stuff um um and 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 then like i know um tum- tumbles one i tumbles one i enjoy as well um which i know i know I, the take i did on them was super inspired by um by um bulking cold from adrenaline dubs um yeah which uh um, that one's right you know <clears throat> that one's all the right down here you know just uh, you know, we're coming oh, dang, that's and juicy. all this other stuff. Yeah, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I I suppose it is juicy. Yes. Um. But anyways, um, that was bad joke aside. Uh, <laughs> um. But like, honestly, there's tons of characters I wish I that that I wish I was able that. Uh, I mean, I, I mean these these are all characters I am able to voice. But like mm-hmm. these. You know, like these are obvious characters I'd like to be able to get more of in some degree. Um, yeah, I know uh, <clears throat> Scratch would be a nice one to mess with people on. Just, just go, just, just, just going it, going and being like, oh. um, um, the dogs and my parents' dogs in the other room probably wondering what the heck's going on over here. Um, you okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's. God, there's quite there's quite a few many both with sonic stuff and non sonic stuff i know as far i mean like i know and i mean as far as like mario character i mean like mario characters i can think of quite a, quite a couple for the like i mean bowser donkey kong uh um i don't know wario because why not uh 
and it i mean i it, it would take forever for me to list all the characters i'd like to I, I would be interested in potentially voice but like real but like really at the end of the day every opportunity is i consider every opportunity a good one as long you within mm-hmm. reason like uh like because if i don't feel like i'm a, if i don't if i don't feel like i'm a fit for a role i'm just not gonna audition for it you know it's like yeah. um but yeah um my rambling aside, I feel like I could uh, give Ultimate a run for his money in terms of my rambling. Uh, I, uh, did that properly answer your question at all? Yeah, yeah, that that answered my question. Thank you so much for thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely, man. The pleasure is mine. All right, see you around. See you, man. Oh shoot, I accident. I did not mean to press that. So, do you just you get a there? You go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, I saw there was a little text question by. Uh, hold on. Let me see right here. Um, Josh, you peaked hard. Yeah, that sounds about right. Discord. Discord hates screams. Also, I'm not exactly in the. Um, also, I'm not in my normal setup. I'm actually at my parents house in a bonus room as opposed to this in serves as opposed to my studio in my apartment just because I'm dogs house sitting for them while I'm doing this. Um, <laughs> uh, which technically makes this a paid. G- no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wish. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Oh, my old friend Unit uh, Unitato or Eden. How's it going? I'll go. I'll uh, let me read this right here. Um, hey, Josh, long time no see. It has been a, it has been a while. I hope you're doing well. Um, I just want to ask, since I've occasionally popped up here and there, what was or is one of your favorite parts of being in Sonic Revo? By the way, I hope you're doing well, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, well, and it is. Me being a part of the team is just an absolute dream come true, legitimately. Because um, um, one of my favorite one of my favorite parts, honestly, like man, getting to I mean, definitely the amount of doors it's opened up for me. Um, the being able to uh, you know, being you know the 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 fact that I've gotten super fortunate in the fact that I've uh, managed to have gotten as popular as I have gotten with um, Sonic Revolution, it's been nothing short of a blessing. Like if you were to tell me like 10 years, if you were to tell me 10 years ago that I would even be a part of the team, let, al- let alone have become, became one of like the main staff members, I would have told you you were crazy. <laughs> I especially would, I especially would have told you that if I, if uh, I was told that, that pe- they would trust me enough to be one of the managers for this server. Uh, but I am, you know, I'm, I'm super grateful for it. And uh, I mean, like my, my favorite parts definitely, you know, that being up and I have loads of fun with the character panels. Um, like I, I enjoy I enjoy so many of the people I work with, like Andrew HV, Andrew HVA, um, Zarsonic among 3000 other roles as a goat. Um, Sydney, a blue moon, 88, uh, Sydney page there to go. Um, you know, uh, doom, the, doom, the mean queen, our Amy and Charmy and our, you know, our Amy and Charmy. Um, like you know, they're they're freaking fantastic. Um, my uh, my good buddy Chris, who's actually in the audience right now, he my that's my that's my that's my big brother right there. That's my uh, he's my he's my right hand man on the uh, social media team. Anytime I'm unavailable, he usually fills in for me with um, streams, and he and he always does. He's always does great, and he's always been very supportive of me. And of course, you know Shane. Kevin Ladise, um, Gust, Kelp, like, um, I know I, I especially love work. I know, um, you know, Kelp, I love, absolutely love working with, um, ultimate, ultimate voice actor. That dude's a nutcase, but I love him to death. <laughs> I, I absolutely love, I absolutely love that man to death. Um, and there's so many, so many, so many other people it would take, like, uh, it would, and being able to meet so many other people as well, it's going to, it'll take, it would take forever for me to, you know, for me to say like how grateful I am to have been a part of this team and, you know, knock on wood, as long as my, um, as long as my career will allow me to, I will continue what I do with Sonic Revolution for as long as I, as long as I can. And um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's truly a blessing to have been able to have been able to got to have gotten this opportunity. And I, and I got to uh, give nothing but love to, um, um, 
our former casting director, uh, Cashlin Snow, for giving me this opportunity and helping me even get like I'm like I'm just genuinely grateful for it. Um, my rambling aside, hopefully that answered your question properly. Uh, I see, I see Eden typing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's see. Um, while you're typing, while you're typing that down, I'll go ahead and pick one of the other hands that are risen. Um, I really wish I was a lot better with these segues. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, I'm glad you enjoyed your time in Sonic. You enjoy your time in Sonic Row. Sorry, I haven't been around in a while, but I'm glad I could be around today to see you and everyone else. Absolutely, absolutely. And with me, and uh, I was meant, I was mentioning Darkbox earlier. I, I don't know if I had a chance to see him, but I did, I did mention he was more than welcome to come if he was able to. I, I know he's a busy guy. It is what it is. Um, but anyways, I'll go ahead and get another hand wrote, risen up. Um, I don't know why I keep messing up the hand, hand raising hands and and what? Okay, what are the what are the dogs barking at? Hey, anyway, <laughs> um, I was gonna go ahead and call up Maito uh, Maito not found. Well, it, let me. See, it's in it's in all caps. So excuse me, uh, Maito not found. Anyway, um, come on up. <laughs> Hello, Josh. How's it going? Great. Okay, so um, here here is a, a question for the Josh Hodgson. Um, I'm glad um, you said the last name right. Not not everybody gets it the first time for some even for some yeah, reason. I am glad I said it right. Okay, so um, what was what was the what was your favorite song cover that you've made? And favorite. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, what what was your favorite song cover that you made? Oh man, I um. Which I've surprisingly haven't done too. I surprisingly haven't done too many on my stuff, which I know I plan on remedying that sooner or later. I know, um, I know one that I definitely had a lot of fun recording was uh, my was my cover of um, my friend Emmy Jones's um, uh, Forces theme song from a few years ago. Some of y'all might, some of y'all might remember it. Um, Infinity and Beyond. That was actually, um, I literally had that song like just stuck in my head all week and just kind of just DM and just kind of DM'd at me like, Hey, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually potentially interested in covering this song. Would I have your blessing for doing so? Even though I totally didn't have, even though I totally didn't necessarily have to do that, but you know, just it, it's a respect sort of thing. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, they said, you know, I got their blessing to do it and they apparently really liked it. And, you know, that was probably like, that was probably one of the few, that's probably the first cover that I put out where after I mixed it and put it together, I'm like thinking like, bro, I think I got a winner. <laughs> you nice. know? And, and it's been giving me, definitely giving me the confidence to do more of them, uh, which for those um, uh, curious, I will go ahead and um, put it in the Descript the um and excuse me the text chat um it was uh this one right right here and I def but I definitely um yeah oh man this freaking Elon Musk anyway uh <laughs> any anyways that's definitely one I know I definitely and plan on doing more covers I know that um. There may or may not be one um, planned with um, with the with the. Uh, I mean, there's there's quite. I, I I almost gave I almost gave the I almost gave it away. There's a couple that I know we're still in development, so I can't really talk about yet. But I know um, I know I know me and uh, I know my buddy Paulie B has mentioned he was that he was. Um, I know me and him have a. Um, a, a cover uh, a cover that we were that we were planning on for for true story that we haven't had a chance to get to yet and there's just like quite quite a couple other ones i wanted to um do at some at um some point but like honestly i'm you know i'm just you know take i'm just kind of taking it one step at a time uh but holly b yeah, is pretty I, awesome absolutely absolutely um yeah and uh i know i i know i would absolutely love to uh, i mean other people i know i'd like to work with i know like i like i know like i like victor mcknight is another person i'd absolutely love to work with one of these days um like uh uh techno cinema 
um, and, which is another one. Shout out to my shout out to my friends out over in Adrenaline Dubs. Um, and like it, it would take forever for me to list ev- for me to list everybody and like all the covers I want to do. Like non sonic, non sonic, plenty of non sonic cover songs in, included in there as well. Um, and just you know, um, but yeah, I think my rambling aside, uh, screw me and my ADD. I would say that um, probably the Affinity and Beyond cover, just because like that, just because that's ha- that was the one where like I really listened back to it and just thought like, wow, I did a really good job at this. I should, uh, I want to, I want to um, do, I want to do more of these. And like, you know, Emmy herself uh, liked it as well. And, and as well as Silva Hound, the person that like produced the original track and like the, like in the audio and the audio I, I'd mixed myself. They didn't, they didn't even have, they, there wasn't even official instrumental. So I had to make, I had to make one. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, but, my rambling aside, apparently that made a police that apparently now a police siren is driving past my neighborhood, my well, my parents neighborhood. I don't know if that's any relation with me saying that. Um, yeah, I got to love Baton Rouge. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, did that properly answer your question? Yes, Josh. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. And I, I don't Welcome. know why my camera turned off. But I- but I'm turning it back on and all right, move back to audience. Uh, hell is going on outside. Anyway, uh, <laughs> got a whole freaking department. Drive. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, it's a, a good old Baton Rouge police department. Our tax dollars will work. Um, <laughs> something I should, something probably got shot again. Anyways, uh, let's <laughs> get i saw there was a text question i'm gonna get to that one uh yes from uh my my good buddy diet dr kelp i still love re- i love saying your username still uh um <laughs> uh, text question for josh if you had a favorite moment voicing knuckles who what would it be um oh my god that is a, that is an interesting one. I mean, I would say the, I would say, um, I would say that little opening ceremony video that from uh, earlier, from earlier, from yet, from uh, like words from yesterday was right, was right up there for sure. Just because, uh, <laughs> just, just all the like the the stupid jokes that I came that I've come up with is invoicing him for in for Revo and just uh, like. Shane, like Shane literally like leaned into it with the actual writing for that script. And uh, it was loads of fun. It was even wilder having my voice be heard over the PA system for the in-person uh, convention. For those of y'all that were there, you already know what I'm referring to. And like, just, it was absolutely just, it was absolutely, it was absolutely wonderful being able to like literally look, literally, uh, look at Jason Griffith while I was helping with his table and just be like, Hey, you know, the knuckles that you just heard in the background, that's actually me. And then being like, not like, yo, that was, that is crazy. Um, and, um, and just, uh, there's just, there's like so. I mean, f- favorite moment voicing knuckles. I would probably, I have so many that's kind of hard for me to answer, but I feel like just for the sake of time, that's going to be the one I go with. Um, Yes, uh, thank you for the question there, Kelp. Um, let me see here. Um, I got another text question from Cutie Cat. How's, how's it going, Cutie? Uh, that sounds weird out of context. Um, uh, text question for Josh. Uh, what was your favorite or funniest moment while recording in VR chat? Uh, <laughs> a little deep cut there. P.S. You are absolutely amazing to work with, dude. Keep being awesome. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I know with... Um, with dark box we had so many that that i had a, that i had a lot of fun recording but i know um ooh man uh, <laughs> uh probably i know one thing I, I know one thing i definitely enjoyed had to be uh uh there there's quite a few that i i'd love to talk about but know that i can't <laughs> because of the fact that uh some of those weren't exactly family friendly and you know i'm trying to keep my job uh, <laughs> Uh, um but i know but i know pretty i would say pretty much so i think for the for the sake of brevity i would say pretty much any opportunity that i that i have to um to 
to work with dark box and that sort in um with uh in just in general just because of like how much i just giving him a little shout out real quick just how much he actually helped and how much he supported me early on and helped and helped kind of give me the platform that i have now um you know without going into too much details as part of it's um sort of personal um he's you know like i owe pretty much my entire career to the dude like he's a uh, like he's uh, like he was um one of the pe- like uh um you know he pretty like he you know helped give me that platform early on and like you know some some of the stuff i did with him was part of the thing that got cashlin to scout me out to be on revo and uh it was it's um but yeah uh i mean probably you know probably the uh i mean i believe the i mean if mo- most favorite vr chat uh i mean there i mean vr chat's already like pretty wild as it is uh, so like they so that would take forever for me to list all of them as far as like video specific stuff um probably uh maybe the fleet weight art maybe just because uh just because there was a lot of just because there was a lot of work that like went into that and uh uh but i know there was a uh, quite a couple others i can think of that um that i wish i could be able to say but can't uh so that's hopefully that answered your question properly uh i'm not hearing police sirens anymore so i'm guessing the answer is yes um anyways uh anyways i'm gonna go ahead and call up one of the other pe- one of the other people up um mystic robert come on up robert of mystic uh you you're muted <laughs> I just, my God, I just now realized that. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, <laughs> look, listen, it happens. <laughs> like, I was having Zoom issues yesterday, so I don't want to start, you know, with Discord now. So, oh, um, but anyways, how's it going, my good sir? It's going fantastic. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Okay, just got home, just was out and about, but I wanted to chat with a couple of friends. Oh. You know? And just hanging around in Revo, but anyways, my question, um, since you've been in the game for a while, what have been some of your, like, what do you really enjoy the most of, you know, just voicing so many characters, just getting to explore what you can do? What is your favorite part about voice acting in general? I would say probably the biggest, the, um, the biggest thing would definitely have to be the fact that, um, and and uh like especially as someone that originally came from a a stage and a small stage and screen acting background nothing humongous mostly just local gigs around the baton rouge area um and before i'd started to focus more on voiceover i think part of it has to do with the fact that like doesn't really matter doesn't really matter how old you are or how you look um as long like you know i'm you know, as long as you have a voice that fits the character, you know, you, you know, you'll you'll like, you know, you'll uh, likely be able to have an opportunity to play said character. And, you know, just, um, which that, that was kind of a convoluted way of wording it. But the point but um, the main way I was trying to word is the fact that, like, definitely the fact that with that with the voiceover, um, I get to be able to betray characters I never would be able to um voice as like a regular actor because as you can see i don't exactly have a lot going on here (laughs) appearance wise uh so um so i don't exactly have the typical build of a of a movie of a like a lead movie star necessarily uh at least not a live action one uh um and yeah it's the fact it doesn't really matter how old you are how you look um just you know you're able to be able to betray the betray all different um kinds of uh characters and all that stuff and of course just just the um, definitely the vast amount of work that there is too because it's not just animation there's also commercials narration audio books um tv promos all that stuff and because i'm all about like opening up to as many op- giving myself as many opportunities as possible and such and just um i probably say um long-witted answer aside that that's basic that's essentially it just the ability just the fact that i'm able to betray characters i would otherwise would not would not be able to betray as well as you know the the fact that you know other people seem to 
enjoy uh, what I what I do, which I'm I'm very grateful for because it's it's one of those things I never thought in a million years would ever happen. So uh, hopefully that answered your question. <laughs> yeah, it, I see it. It does, and I'm in the same boat. Yeah, <laughs> when it comes to VO. Absolutely. I actually, vo- actually uh, voice a comic dub for this guy over here for those that didn't know. Uh, <laughs> um, I think you did a couple. I, I, it's been a while. My memory is kind of like it's been a long weekend. Um, but I remember you did. And yeah, those were a lot of fun. Yes, those were a lot of fun. Um, yes. Uh, All right. Yeah, I appreciate your question. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, hope to see you around. I will certainly do my best. I will certainly do my best because I'm going to be around. (laughs) Yeah. Take um, it easy, man. All right. Take it easy. I'll go ahead and move you back to the audience. There you go. All right. Let me check there. No. um, Ask questions. That's fine. Uh, Let's see. We got some four hands up. Uh, uh, Ultrasonic Hero. Come on up. Oh, hello. How's it going? Yeah, I've been great. Thanks. How about yourself? I'm doing I'm doing pretty super right now. Uh, <laughs> Great to hear. Absolutely. Right. Uh, sorry, God. All right. So my question for you is, if you had to do a future collaboration vocal cover with any artist or musician, etc., which cover would you be happy to work on as a vocalist and why? Oh, man, that is that is such a good question. That is such a good question. That's and that's one that would take forever for me to answer in full. Uh, I, I know. Uh, I mean, uh, I know, uh, man. Like, I mean, as far as I mean, I know. Um, uh, as far as people, as far as um, people in the community, I definitely know one person I would love to like. I would potentially love to do like a, like a. A duo or something of that aspect with would definitely like number one would definitely be Emmy Jones just because uh, just because I've been such a fan of their work for a good number of years and I like and I enjoyed and I like that they really enjoyed like what I did with like my cover one of their songs. Um, I mean, as far as um, are, are we referring are we referring to like just artists in general or yeah, artists in general, artists in general? Um, that case, oh man. Uh, um, I mean, this is in a similar ass uh, thing. I'll throw um, yeah, um, you know, Crush Forty for sure. Johnny Dioli's the goat. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kel- Kellen Quinn, not not just not just for Frontiers, but I've also been a fan of Sleeping with Sirens since I was like in high school. Um, and there's a oh man, um, uh, I know um anybody anybody uh, for and I know um anybody as far as I'll I'll throw in um. I know another person. This this is like a, a this person's unfortunately no longer with us. But I know one. But I know one band I grew I grew up to when I was uh, when I was um, one band that I pretty much was raised around was Lincoln Park. And uh, rest in peace to Chester Bennington. That would definitely that would be another person I would have absolutely loved to work with. And just like there's like so many other people I could think of at the top of my head. Um, I mean, it's you know, I mean. It, it, of course the music stuff's more is like it's definitely something like i i want to try to mess around with as much as i can but like of course but of course it's but of course it's definitely more of a side project it's definitely something that you know it's kind of like a we'll see what happens sort of thing you know yeah um totally understandable yeah but yeah I, uh i hope i hope hopefully that was a good answer to that question there's because like yeah. like i said there are so many there's so many there's so much different music I listen to that it would take forever for me to list them all. Yeah, totally. That was a great answer. And thank you for answering my question. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for coming up. No problem. Take it easy out there. You too. You too. Go ahead and move you over to the audience. There we go. All right. Um, let's see here. We got uh, Trigger VA. Come on up. Hey, Josh. How's it going? Doing all right. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, before I ask my question, I just want to say a huge thanks to you and the rest of the staff for making all these panels in Revo. Like this weekend's definitely been one heck of a ride. It's been an amazing, thrilling experience with like, you know, with all the uh, all the guest stars like Mike, Cindy, uh, okay. Ryan. Like it's it's definitely been like a rare opportunity for them to come and 
none of it could have happened without you and the rest of the staff. So hats off to you. I, I, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that very much. And I know the, I know the rest of the staff uh, appreciates that as well. I see uh, Kevin and Chris in the audience right there. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. It's off to the both of you as well. Yes. And, and everybody, and everybody else and everybody else on the team as well. But uh, anyways, was there a, a question you wanted to uh, ask her? Uh, yeah. So my question was like, before you begin like a cover or begin voice acting in general, uh, my question is, is there like a prep procedure or like a routine that you follow beforehand before beginning or how, what do you do? Yes. As a matter of fact, there is for me. Um, I know in my case, um, I have this sort of um, I, op- I often for the sake of maintaining for the sake of maintaining my throat, I usually will um, make myself like a big a big glass of throat coat tea by traditional medicinals. I specifically um, and I specifically do the eu- the eucalyptus version, which helps with respiratory uh, with um, respiratory support as well. And I will then put three tablespoons of and then and then I'll put three tablespoons of um, Pipacoa, which is a Chinese herbal cough syrup. And I'll kind of mix that. I'll kind of mix that together and then just, uh, you know, just finish, just finish the whole finish the whole glass. Pretty much tastes a lot better than you would think. Um, And uh, they already left. Uh, And so that's that's and then I get like a whole drink a whole bunch of water as well I actually have a little gallon jug by me in by my table right here and uh and that's and i keep um entertainer secret throat spray as kind of like a backup as well as lots and lots of lozenges <laughs> and you know just make sure i'm staying hydrated um and that's Pretty much it beyond that i mean like i mean of course and then of course with the actual like you know the as far as the actual like character preparation it's, you know i'm like every other like every other um role i just you know i have um i'm given a character i'm given a character or uh you know a character to portray and then you know i get get enough details to at least get some to at least have something to work with and may not necessarily have you know you know, some, some scripts more vague than others. That's just, you know, that's just part of the, that's just part of the business. There are some where like, like they'll be a lot more vague with the description, but they'll just kind of give you a character thing. But like, and then from that, I just have to create the voice, that sort of thing. I'm technically still learning myself. You know, I'm still in my training process, um, which is why I ha- which is why I haven't um, finished my reels yet, but that's essentially what I do to prepare. Um, also, de- also definitely a bunch of uh, ro- also definitely um, a bunch, quite a bit of um, probably good, like 10 to 20 minutes of like warming up and stuff. That being just kind of like breathing, ec- breathing exercises, vocal gymnastics, uh, tongue twisters, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, you, you can get the idea. There's a there's a bunch there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of stuff that I usually you do before each session just to make sure that my bo- that my voice is maintain as well as possible but anyways uh believe that it that answered that very nicely uh interesting i'll definitely be taking notes thank you i appreciate that uh i mean no problem uh <laughs> such as my people skills um and let's see i'm gonna go ahead and get trey thornton 19 up uh hey hey josh <laughs> how's it going trey how are you doing well i'm doing great just to enjoy the panel I appreciate that. So, um, my questions for you, Josh, is have you ever heard of the show called The Justice League Unlimited? Justice League Unlimited? Yes, yes, I, yes, I have. Um, I, I don't, um, uh, words, uh, uh, what about it? It sounds like a, it's like a DC superhero show. Oh no! I, no, I know. No, I know what you're talking about. I like I, uh, I, I so I used to watch. I mean, I used to watch Justice League, a pretty Just League Unlimited, a pretty decent amount when I was a kid. Um, I haven't watched it in forever, though. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I'd say I, I'd say I enjoy it. I know. I mean, I like DC, but I'm general. I'm in general more of a Marvel head. Um, 
like, I mean, I, I like, I like both just Marvel just in general has more of a soft spot in my heart. Like, uh, Spider-Man in particular, that's like my number one favorite superhero of all time. Um, I mean, as far as D, as far as DC, it's, um, as far as, I mean, as far as DC, it's probably, um, probably say Batman just cause you know, I mean, it's Batman man, and he doesn't have any powers. If you want his powers, you just go to the gym and have money, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, uh, so that's, so that's all, so that's always a plus. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot what the original question was. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but that's all, that's all, that's all I can ask for you. And hope you had a great day. Absolutely. I, I appreciate that. We still got a few more hours left in the, we still have a few more hours left in the con, but so far I'd say it's been going pretty nicely. Yeah. Have a great day. Alrighty. Thank you, Trey. All right. Let me see here. Uh, Bolt, the floofy werewolf. Come on up. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Going good. Can't really do much because, well, it's raining outside. Mm. Sorry. 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 Rounds of rain today, but um, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was actually curious, but um, like, do you have like any opinions on like um Sonic Unleashed or Werehog Sonic? Oh, I absolutely love Sonic Unleashed. It was uh like I I love I loved it I loved it fifteen I loved it fifteen years ago, and I love it now. Um, it, like because like as far as like the quote unquote Dark Age era Sonic games, that's probably my favorite one. Is uh like you know it's uh. You know, I, I, I like I like even when even when people like even like it's just so ahead of its time. It's crazy. Uh, like, I mean, and I've always been a sucker for beat em up. So I never. So even when even when uh, people were saying I should hate Werehog Sonic, I never I, I I mean, I loved it even then just because I'm a sucker for beat em ups. And and, uh, and of course, the Sonic stages were fantastic as well. And that that. Bro, that in that in that introduct that introductory cutscene that that one introductory cutscene for those of y'all that have played it you know what I'm talking about it is untouchable <laughs> like like it still looks good today it still looks good 15 years ago which is uh which is hard which is you know hard to do <laughs> to a degree uh and um in I, I love absolutely everything about the game honestly and of course you know Ch- and I I love Chip as well Chip is chip was uh, such an such an adorable little ancient being uh uh you know we both like chocolate you know, <laughs> you know that's a uh but i mean like it's i mean be a werehog sonic i would say is i mean where where sonic was it was so it was such a it was definitely a very wild um like especially from like the other games that had came out before that it was such a nice little it was definitely a nice little change of pace in a way. And I, and like, I really enjoyed it. I know like it was, and of course uh, it was, I know I have absolutely, I I know I absolutely love respect the absolute hell out of Jason Griffith for his commitment to the bit, because he's mentioned in interviews before that he had strep throat when he was recording that. And you can actually listen (laughs) and you can actually re-listen, you know, that one where hog, that one where hog screen where he's talking about, or what you know, like you could actually hear like the struggle in his voice, and it's like, let me tell you, man, if you uh, say you're commitment committed to your role and you're not that guy, you oppose. Um, I'm only half joking. Uh, <laughs> that I just want, I just wanted to uh, go on a little spiel on how much Jason Grip on how much I love Jason Griffith, but uh, um, uh, but yeah, uh, as but yeah, I mean, I love Unleash. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you there. Did that did that probably answer your question? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'd say Unleash is definitely my favorite Sonic game of all time. Nothing will replace it. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, I believe its um anniversary is coming up next month. I believe uh, November eighteenth. I believe so. Yes, yes. My favorite, my I mean, my favorite Sonic game of all time. If I had to put it down to one, would probably be Sonic Three. But Sonic Unleash is definitely my favorite, like Dark Era uh, Sonic game for sure. Um, but yeah. All right, I'll uh, go back. I'll go ahead and go back down to the audience. All righty. Thank you very much, Bolt. Uh, let me see here. Uh, the Red Spike 17. I'll go ahead and call them back up. Hello, Josh. Hello. How's it going? I'm doing good. And uh, I'm actually really uh, excited to see you here. 
Because like oh. last time I like seen you had some like health issues, but I'm really uh, happy yeah. to see that you're here and that you're uh, having fun. Yeah, that's true. I, that, is, that is true. I was dealing with like kidney stone issues, but I'm, I'm thankfully, I mean, I'm thankfully feeling, I'm thankfully feeling better now. Like not enough, not enough flow max can help with, but uh, uh, was there any, um, was, was there a question you wanted to ask her? Yeah. Simple question. Uh, what did you say is your uh, favorite Sonic character? I would say my favorite Sonic character is um, excluding Sonic. Cause that would be obvious, uh, a bit too obvious. Um, yeah. I would say my number two favorite one is surprisingly not Knuckles, although he's in, although he's in the, although he's definitely in the top five. Um, mm, I would say probably, I would say, uh, I would, I'll, I'll put it down to like a, a, a kind of a top, a top five to make things easier. Um, I would say, um, Tails is number, like, Tails is number one. Um, just, because I, I found them like actually quite relatable as a child. Um, shadows number two, <laughs> uh, just, just be, just cause, uh, just cause shadows awesome. Uh, uh, knuckles is number knuckles is number three. <laughs> um, I'll this, and which, which, um, the, and I actually, um, I know it's, it's funny because personality wise, it's actually kind of wild how much I find myself relating to them in a way, which is probably why I'm able to connect with them so much and why people seem to like my betrayal of them. Uh, you know, I'm, I consider, I consider myself kind of a kind of introverted in that way. I'm, I mean, I'm a little, probably more of an introverted extrovert, but, uh, you know, I, I hope, I hope I'm less gullible than, <laughs> uh, than, than knuckles. Uh, I mean, game kid and knuckles anyway. Um, I know. Um, I mean, we both. I, I actually grapes are actually my favorite fruit in real life. But <laughs> that's not even a, that's not even a joke. Also, also, yeah. we were te- also we were technically born in the same year, nineteen ninety four. Because uh, wow. uh, that's when because that's when the Sonic Three came out, February second of ninety four. I came on. I I I, I, I came out. I was born <laughs> on St. Patty's Day of ninety four. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's like the jokes almost write themselves, right? So I mean, like that's. And I mean, I think after that, I mean, silver's definitely one, um, which ironic, which ironically enough for those that stick around, I'm going to be doing the, um, the Q and a with my buddy Kelp with, uh, with Pete Capella, uh, the original voice for silver, which stay tuned for that. Uh, um, and, uh, I believe number five, um, I, uh, there's quite there, there's quite a few that just are that just kind of aren't off the tip of my tongue, but uh, I know I'm running out. Of, I know I'm running out of time soon, so I don't want to take too I don't want to take too much out of that. But uh, yes, um, but yeah, did that properly answer your question? Uh, yeah, and it's okay if you've been like out of whole five set. Yeah, cool. actually, 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 I do. If number five would actually number number five would probably be Eggman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, just because Eggman, come on. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for uh, answering my question, and uh, glad to see that you're doing well and having fun at the convention. Thanks for your efforts, dude. Absolutely, man. I really appreciate that very much. You're welcome. Take care. Absolutely, you too. All right. Um, running. We're starting to run out of time here. Let me just make sure that there aren't any text questions that I'm mix that I'm missing. Uh, all right. Yes. Um, this will be my last. Um, a uh, set this will be my last uh question for the night uh, for the this panel because I want to make sure that I'm giving uh my buddy Chris who's coming after me time to pop up. Um let's see from Cam Cam VA. Hi there Cam Cam. Uh text question for Josh. What were your most difficult moments and or lines from your previous recording sessions and why? Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh <laughs> cuz uh I mean hmm I think, uh, I mean, I can't, I mean, I can't really say that I have too many necessarily like difficult moment, difficult moments necessarily with recording. I feel like I have a, I feel like I have a pretty solid range in that, in that aspect. Uh, I mean, if I don't feel like I'm a fit for a role, I'm just not going to audition for it. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess to it, I mean, I guess to a degree, like, uh, I mean, I mean, I guess to a degree, like many other voice actors, it's, you know, making sure it's, uh, I mean, I guess, um, 
I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess vocally stressful stuff, but like, ne- but like, that's not necessary. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's really necessarily difficult as much as I just have to make sure that I'm drinking a lot of water and soothing my throat and all that stuff. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, every opportunity is a new challenge. So, I mean, I don't know if I really have a good answer to that question. I do apologize. Um, what made you decide to work with the Sonic Paradox team? Morgan asks, um, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this answer, uh, the answer quick cause I'm running out of time, but, um, Essentially, um, I threw. I had a, I had a bit part in Sonic Seconds Volume Eleven. I was put on. Um, I didn't really have much else to do for a while. Um, uh, and then I, had, I like appeared in a stream, and that was about it. And then I, um, Wax had approached me to voice Commander Buzz for Sonic Animated. And uh, for those that have, for those that have saw that, it was actually also premiered at Fan Fest UK. And apparently, people really liked Commander Buzz. And when I brought for the character and i'm very grateful for that and um when maybe decided to work with them i mean i've been a fan of them since 2008 when the first sonic shorts came out and i'm you know it's uh it was and like it was an honestly an honor to be able to say that i've worked for people i've been fans with of for well over 15 years um yes uh and with that i think i am actually running out of time right now so i am I'm going to, uh, but yeah, um, I want, I, I very, I appreciate very much all of y'all, uh, coming for my Q and a, I will, I, you know, make sure, uh, make sure to follow me on, uh, on, uh, Twitter and, um, Twitter and blue sky at Josh Hodgson, the latter. I don't really use that much yet. I'm just kind of securing the app for now, but definitely follow me on Twitter. I will go ahead and link that right over here and I'm going to go ahead and head out and end the stage and then have my buddy Chris come in for his uh, meet and greet and stay tuned on my end at in well over an hour. I will be doing a panel alongside my buddy Kelp with Pete Capella. So for the Twitch stream. So y'all enjoy the rest of the con. See you.